Hey guys, uh, my name is Eric and I'm making a video journal to chronicle the build of my first computer. I'm basing this computer off the Sandy Bridge processors. Um, I have a motherboard on order with Amazon right now, but of course it hasn't uh, come in yet. Uh, as soon as it does, I'll be resuming this video, but right now I'm just going to inventory, kind of touch uh, upon all the components that I do have which is pretty much everything else uh, but the motherboard and uh, so here we go I've got a Cooler Master CM690 case it's all black full mesh design very quality uh, case as you can see some of the features I'm not taking any of these items out of the box yet because I'm not ready to build and, and I'll just keep them factory fresh in their boxes but you can see at the picture here of the side of the case, it's got fully toolless uh, drive bays. It's got nice cable management here. Um, it's all black, painted on the inside as well as the outside. No sharp edges, very solid case. It has um, an adapter for an SSD. It's got a dock for a hard drive on the top. It's ready for um, a radiator installation, but that's not going to matter because I'm not going to be doing that. And it's uh, got some solid uh, feet to stand on there. Really good case. Got it for 90 bucks. Shipped Amazon. Highly recommended. Stick with Cooler Master or Antec uh, would be my advice. Um, over here I've got the heart of the build uh, just waiting for a motherboard to stick this sucker into it's the i7 2600k fully unlocked uh, processor Intel processor pretty much the best uh, processor you can buy on the market today you know when you consider that it's only three hundred and thirty dollars and will keep up with or surpass a 980x uh, in many applications, uh, certainly gaming. I could have gotten away with the 2500K processor, but just just wanting to have the best of everything, kind of for bragging rights, I guess, I went with this thing, and it's going to fill any need that I have. The box is kind of neat, you know, if you haven't seen these, uh, the, the processor's right here on the top, and you can see it sitting in there through a little window. And that's it. That's the that's the processor right there. For memory, I've got Corsair Vengeance series. These things look great. They perform great. Corsair is a great company. Um, I kind of want to take these out of the box just because they look so cool. Uh, I got eight gigabytes DDR3, of course. Um, two by four gigabyte sticks. It's going to go with the dual channel DIMM slots in my Sabertooth P67. This is great memory. Um, it's fast, it's overclockable, although I won't be doing that. Um, just at stock speed, it's going to be really quick, and 8 gigabytes is more than anybody really needs, um, unless you're doing a lot of crazy video production or, or things like that. Uh, hard drives. I've got here, I'm, I'm going to run two. I'm going to have a data drive and a system drive. I couldn't afford to go with an SSD. Um, I, I am building this to somewhat of a budget. And so I went with the Velociraptor 150 gig drive here to put Windows and my programs on. It's a 10,000 RPM drive, so it'll be, you know, it'll be somewhat quicker than a 7200 RPM drive and uh, should load up Windows and programs marginally quicker, certainly not SSD quick, but quick enough and I can keep any kind of uh, just crap off of this this hard drive and run, you know, just programs and the operating system. For my data drive, I've got a Hitachi Death Star, one terabyte. This thing, I, I think Hitachi makes great hard drives. The OEM uh, companies use these drives, like HP uses them, and uh, Compaq and Dell. 
they use HPs. They're they're quality drives. They may not um, they may not be have the popularity of say the the Caviar series or or the Barracudas, but it's a good drive. It was 50 bucks. It's one terabyte, 7200 RPM. Can't argue with that. Powering everything, I got a 750 watt power supply. It's the HX750 Corsair. Again, these Corsair is a great company. They make excellent products. This thing is fully modular. Um, it's got every connector that I could possibly need. The most important part being that it has four PCI Express um, eight and six pin uh, plugs. So if you wanted to run SLI or Crossfire, you would have plenty of power and plenty of uh, of connected connections. Corsair makes just I think the best power supplies there are. Um, this was, I think, $140 shipped from uh, Amazon, and it does it does everything I'm going to need it to do, plus much more. And I'm really happy about about picking up this uh, power supply for my video card. I've got a uh, EVGA GTX 560 Ti. This is a fantastic. Uh, video card. It uh, is probably the best bang for the buck card you can buy. It was $250 and it'll run pretty much any game at advanced settings just by itself. Um, I'm going to be running at 1080p resolution so uh, I'm going to try to get as good a quality settings as I can and I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to mostly max out most games. Um, as you can see, I'm waiting for Crisis 2, and um, I've got Battlefield 3 is coming out. Um, I'm not a big computer gamer, but I'm getting into it, and this thing's also super clocked, by the way, from the factory. It's the, the uh, lifetime warranty version of this card, too, so that's a, a plus. And down the line, if I want to, I can always get another one and run SLI, and then uh, then I'll be able to run pretty much anything at max settings. Uh, over here, we've got just a keyboard. This is the Microsoft X6, Sidewinder X6 keyboard. I got an OEM. I think it was only $60 from Amazon. But you can see the, the little party piece here for this keyboard is the number pad, which is detachable and can be put on the left or the right side of the mother of the uh, keyboard. And it's got some nice little features. It's USB. It's not wireless. Um, that's fine. Uh, it's got programmable buttons here on the sides and on the top. It's got. Uh, knobs. These knobs are cool. It's backlit so you can turn your brightness up and down with a knob and you've got a knob for volume which is always nice. Um, just a good motherboard. I mean a good keyboard. I keep saying motherboard. I don't know why I keep doing it. It's a good keyboard. Um, good value. Going with it is the Sidewinder X8 mouse. Um, this is a gaming mouse which I, you know, I typically like Logitech's but I'm going to try this thing out see how it how it does. It was, I think, $70 shipped, and it's got all the features that I need. It's wireless. You can charge it with a USB cable, um, and it, it's gotten good reviews, so I'm excited to, to start using that. And finally, I've got a Cyber Acoustics 30-watt uh, uh, speakers. Night, it's got a 2.1 system. It's got nice uh, a nice subwoofer and this little pod here actually has an aux in for your iPod or what have you and the whole top there spins around to control your volume. Uh, it comes with a little uh, kind of an iPod cradle there and it's uh, you know 30 watts. It sounds it's it sounds pretty good and it's it was only 30 bucks so not here. I also have a Samsung Blu-ray 
player DVD burner with light scribe. Uh, that's actually in the trunk of my car, but it's brand new. I picked it up actually at Comp USA the other day, and that's going to be my optical drive. I also have a Sony 17 into one media card reader on the way. Uh, it should be here Monday, but you know that's not going to really matter so much until I get the motherboard, and uh, you know who knows when that's going to be. This whole uh, mess with the Cougar Point chipset is uh, is really unfortunate, but it's worth the wait, um, and I can't wait to, to see the power of that 2600K. It's just a great processor, and, uh, and that's it. So uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I will be seeing you once I have a motherboard. All right.